Hello YouTube, this is Mickey Agner with the first in a series of presentations on water resources that we have here in North Central Florida for recreational purposes. Today we're going to be talking to you about Santa Fe Lake which lies about 23 miles east of Gainesville. And with this presentation and review, like all others, we have a set of criteria that we consistently compare that water body with and that it would include factors such as uh, access to the uh, water body, uh, accommodations within the nearby neighborhood, the uh, compatibility of that water with certain recreational activities such as fishing, boating, swimming, and paddling. Uh, we'll talk to you about the water quality and we'll also talk to you about the scenic assets of that water, uh, whether there's wildlife there or what the intrinsic beauty is uh, of the uh, location. Uh, if you're in this neighborhood and would like to uh, see more details on these locations, check out the link below on our website and you'll find uh, uh, quite a bit of information there. Okay, here we have a map of North Central Florida from which we are going to draw these reviews. And I call it the land between the rivers because over here on the eastern boundary you see that the St. John's River has been darkened in uh, according to its flow. And uh, up on the north, you see that the Georgia-Florida line has been darkened in, and that also represents the flow of the St. Mary's River. Over on the uh, western boundary, you will see the flow of the uh, Suwannee River as it runs from uh, the Okefenokee Swamp down to the community of Suwannee. And we're going to look for water resources within this area. On the south end, we have arbitrarily drawn this red line so that it would necessarily include all of the Ocala National Forest and the beautiful spring runs that are there. Let me draw your attention now to this community right here where these roads come together. That is the city of Gainesville, the University of Florida, and home of the Florida Gators. About 23 miles east of there is a community of Melrose and just northwest of that community is Santa Fe Lake, which we are going to focus on today. Okay, let's get a good idea of the specific location of Santa Fe Lake and what the uh, map looks like right here zeroed in on it. Here you can see the lake. It's a large lake, about 5,850 uh, 5, uh, Acre Lake is composed of two different parts, Big Lake Santa Fe on the bottom, Little Lake Santa Fe on the top. Both are connected by a very navigable pass. This is Highway 26 running out of uh, Gainesville, 23 miles to the east. It comes to the community of Melrose. Two miles backwards, uh, you will see a sign that says Public Boat Launch, and it's designated right there with that red triangle. Highway 100 runs from Palatka over here on the southeast uh, through Stark up here on the north. If you take it south out of Stark past two big turns, you can turn off on 21B, take the first right, follow it until it merges with the shoreline of Santa Fe Lake, and you'll come into another boat launch located here. Uh, so you have several rural communities, Melrose located here, Keystone right here at the intersection of 21 and 100, Stark to the north, and uh, Santa Fe Lake lies north of 26 and west of 21. We are standing in the uh, parking lot of the Bradford County Boat Launch looking over the aluminum dock down the canal into the small lake. There are two uh, large concrete ramps just to the right of us. Now they're to the left of us since we're standing on the end of the dock looking back at the parking lot. You can see a porter potty uh, facility there on the right in the two ramps on the left with sufficient parking. Those ramps are long and deep and you never see a boat back off of those ramps into that typically washed out area uh, past them where the boats have been revving their motors up. You can also see the tanning stain in the water and consequently Santa Fe is not noted for its swimming quality but instead for its fishing, boating, and paddling. It uh, especially is uh, uh, has a good reputation as being a good fishing lake. Here we are standing at the boat launch on the Melrose end of the lake on the southern end and you can see that the aluminum dock has been placed in between the two ramps. There are uh, grass paths to the right and the left for canoes and kayaks. And now we're standing on the dock looking back up at the parking lot with good angled parking. You might not be able to tell but that is a circle and parking is available on both sides of that lot. 
uh, if that's not sufficient, just right up the drive from the uh, launch is another parking location with covered, covered tables and also a playground area for children off to the right. In case you missed it, uh, there was this well-maintained uh, restroom facility in the first parking lot in between the, uh, right in the center between the two parking facilities. Santa Fe Lake is most popular as a uh, fishing lake, and uh, every Wednesday during the summer, a bass tournament is held at the Bradford County launch, and the uh, turnout and catch is generally pretty good. Recreationally, bass fishing is more successful during the spring and the fall when that water temperature is compatible for bedding and feeding around the shoreline. These photos came from one of those bass tournaments, but people don't realize that the lake provides a great variety of uh, fish to uh, to catch. Bluegills and shellcrackers are readily caught in good numbers and size during the summer, especially around full moon when they're bedding. Also during the winter when the crappie uh, school in that deep water, they're readily caught drifting and they're also caught in the uh, late winter and early spring when they move toward that shoreline to bed. The Florida Wildlife Commission consistently stocked the lake with a striper white bass hybrid called sunshine bass as well as uh, channel cats. You're getting ready to see a, a photo of the open lake and it should remind us that there's a lot more water to fish than just that shoreline cover. Most Florida lakes have a, a native uh, underwater gra grass that will grow out somewhere between 8 and 18 feet of water. And if uh, they're not biting that shoreline, search for that uh, grass row and troll that area, cast it. It's a great alternative and you might just do very well there. This is a bathymetric map put out by the Lake Watch program at the University of Florida showing the contour of the lake bottom and depth. This is a photo of the uh, big lake. Uh, I think they're helpful. It shows you that the deeper part is closer to the western shoreline, so you could probably locate that thermocline area or, or locate, uh, uh, check out the deep water a little bit easier over there. However, now the grass line that we just talked about might grow a little bit higher and a little bit bigger over on the uh, eastern and southeastern portions of this. Uh, you have to be careful with it too because if you look up at the north end of the lake where the pass goes through, it says the water's two feet deep. That water's 10 feet deep all the way through that pass. So they use a little bit of projection, but these things do give you a good idea of what the lake looks like and they, they help you plan your fishing trip a little better. Talking about fishing tackle, you're looking at a photo of the bald eagle bait and tackle located at the Highway 121 intersection in Keystone, only a short distance from either one of the boat launches. Coming up, you're going to see a photograph of Chapinis located at the 2126 Highway intersection in Melrose, only a couple of miles east of the launch. So if you run out of bait and tackle there at uh, Santa Fe Lake, it is readily available. Talking about food, you're looking at Blue Water Bay, a, a gourmet restaurant located right there in Melrose. Really fine food. Like any gourmet restaurant, it's going to cost a little bit more. You find also uh, grocery stores in Melrose, fast foods in Keystone, restaurants in Stark and Gainesville as well. Any kind of lodging is available 23 miles uh, west of Santa Fe Lake in Gainesville. These uh, motels are located in Stark which is very close to Rayford Prison, holding a very high population of prisoners. Uh, those families of the prisoners come through Stark and stay at a very economical price in these motels. So if that's what you're looking for, you might want to try that. Otherwise, Gainesville would probably be your best choice.